Well, folks, in today's video, we're going to be unboxing this Atlas Trainman Indiana Railroad GP38-2 locomotive. So, uh, this was a locomotive I was not expecting to get, um, but, uh, basically the other day my grandparents dropped by for a little visit, of course, safely, and, uh, they handed me a bag, and I'm like, what's this? And they were like, oh, it's a little gift. So I was like, okay, so I opened up the bag, and this was inside. Um, yeah, I was pretty surprised, <laughs> um, so that was very generous of them. They didn't have to do that, but they said it was a graduation gift, so if my grandparents are watching this, thank you both so much. I really do appreciate it. Anyway, I thought it would be cool to, uh, unbox this here on the channel, so, uh, yeah, let's get started. I'm, uh, really curious to see what this locomotive is gonna be like. Um, I've always been a fan of Atlas products. I got a Quebec and Gatineau locomotive from Atlas back in 2011, and that thing is just, it, it runs like a dream. It runs still like the day I got it, so I'm pretty impressed with that. Um, but yeah, I've not, uh, never unboxed the Atlas locomotive for, uh, quite a long time, so I'm curious to see, uh, what it's all like. Uh, here is a, uh, parts diagram, which is always nice when they include that. Anyway, here is the, uh, locomotive. We'll take this thing out of the box. Look at that. Love the red paint scheme on this. Actually clip this into the stand below it. Okay, that's sort of odd. They've actually screwed this down to the stand. I don't think I've ever seen that before, where a uh, a locomotive is attached. <laughs> uh, anyway, I guess we just undo these two screws. This is really. I've never seen this before. I've unboxed so many engines over the years, and I've never seen. Uh, Anything quite like uh, the locomotive being attached to the cradle. I mean, it's definitely a very secure way to ship it. It's not going to be going anywhere, um, but uh, it's certainly a bit unusual. I'm not sure where exactly they would uh, tie those screws in uh, to the locomotive. I'd be interested to see how discreet it is. Okay, I see what they've done here. So uh, there's that. So those two screws, uh, I think we're supposed to take those screws out and then we put them back in the locomotive because the. Uh, the bottom part is now loose, so that's, uh, this is, I find this really funny. I've never seen anything quite like this before. This is, uh, this is very interesting. That doesn't seem quite right either. There's something that I'm missing here. Oh, maybe, maybe the screws are not supposed to go back in. Huh. Well, anyway, here's the uh, locomotive. Why don't I uh, pan the camera around so that everybody can have a bit of a better look at it in detail. So here's the locomotive up close and in a little bit more detail. And I've got to say, I really like the paint scheme on this locomotive. I think it looks pretty sharp. I'm just going to uh, pan it around so everybody can uh, see all the detail for themselves. You can see we've actually got a uh, driver, or uh, not a driver, but a conductor on uh, this side right here. Pretty cool. Here's the uh, back of the locomotive. And uh, well, over here on this side, there's the uh, engineer right there. Looks like he's actually facing uh, out this window, which is sort of interesting. So uh, yeah, there's the locomotive. Why don't we go uh, take this thing over to the track and test it? So here's the uh, locomotive all set up on the track. I think it looks really sharp, and uh, I'm really curious to see uh, exactly how this thing performs, because uh, as I said earlier, I have that Quebec and Gatineau locomotive, and that thing's always run really smooth, so I'm going to be uh, interested to see how this compares to that. I'm not sure uh, by how many... I don't know when this locomotive was actually released, um, but uh, yeah, in any case, let's uh, give this thing some power and uh, see how it goes here. Whoa, is it a, it's sound equipped. Uh, I wasn't expecting that. I didn't look over the box, but I don't remember reading anywhere that it was. Wow, <laughs> okay. Wow. 
That is incredible. Check that out. Well, that's pretty cool. I mean, I assume that means this thing is uh, also DCC. It's funny, I don't remember seeing anywhere on the box uh, saying anything about that. I'm going to uh, put three in on the controller here. Let's see if it responds to that. Yeah, it seems to be accepting three as an address. And there it goes. I can't believe this. I mean, I was I was really excited about this locomotive, but I was not expecting it to have sound. And it's pretty, uh, it's got really good sound, I gotta say. Yeah, do we have a horn? Let's, uh... It's a little fainter than the engine sound, but there's a horn. What about, here, if we slow this down, let's see if we can hear that a little better. The braking noises, cool. Yeah, that's nice. Coupler. We've got a bell. So if I does four do anything? Yeah, there's definitely some sounds for four. Eight's usually mute. Yeah, that works. Nine. I'm not sure if there are any other lighting functions there either. Let's back this thing up. Did notice as I gave it power, the backlights did uh, brighten up a little bit. This is just so cool. I love that braking. That's so that's awesome. I just thought I'd do a quick shot up close to uh, show everybody all the uh, features in detail here. So uh, here are the lights. Uh, here's the bell. The horn. And a coupler detach. And there are also some various other noises, although I'm not entirely sure what they are. Of course, eats to uh, mute the loco, as it does. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all the features on it. Really not something I was expecting, but uh, man, am I happy they're on there. All right, so we've now got this thing hooked up to a freight train, and I'm really excited to see how this thing performs under load. It's not a terribly long train, but uh, better a train than none, in my opinion. Anyway, let's get going here. Well, folks, I've got to say, what a cool locomotive. I really wasn't expecting this thing to have so many features, including sound. Uh, I've looked over the box, and uh, I think these are all the features right here. And uh, as far as I can tell, I couldn't read anywhere on the box that it had sound. So, uh, yeah, I was really not expecting that. And I'm not sure if my uh, grandparents went ahead and had sound installed in it. They didn't mention anything about that, but you never know. Um, but in any case, I'm uh, very thankful that it does have sound, and even regardless of it having sound, it is a gorgeous locomotive, and it was a very thoughtful gift on their part. Anyway, I think I'm going to uh, finish off the video. Before I do, I just want to give my grandparents a very big thanks for this. It was a very generous gift, and I can't thank them enough. Anyway, with that, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Well, hold on a minute. Just before I finish off the video, I just want to make a small editor's note, which is that I just got off the phone with my grandparents to uh, ask them if they had had sound installed on this locomotive, and they said that they didn't. 
Uh, they said that they went into the hobby shop and they apparently found this locomotive and they uh, thought it was something that I'd like, so they decided to uh, pick it up. And it apparently had no stickers or anything like that that said it had sound or even DCC. Um, none of the shop people mentioned that it had sound or anything like that. And uh, the cherry on top is apparently they were in line and this other gentleman uh, struck up a bit of a conversation with them about how he had been in the hobby for 30 plus years and how it had changed so much and all these new locomotives had all these features like, you know, digital command control and sound and all this other stuff. And they apparently asked him if the locomotive they were buying had sound. And he had a look at the box and he said, no, this is just a regular DC engine, but it's super easy to install DCC and uh, sound. So uh, if he ever wanted to do that, it wouldn't be too hard. So uh, yeah, I have no idea how exactly it got that. But in any case, I'm not going to argue with a good thing. I'm pretty thrilled about that. I mean, what are the chances of a locomotive... Uh, which I think is brand new too. I don't think this is a used engine. The box, everything like that looks like pristine condition. So I don't know if maybe somebody owned this, put sound in it, and then brought it back. Who knows? But in any case, I'm absolutely thrilled that it has it. Anyway, uh, I'm going to finish off the video now for real this time. Thank you all so much for watching.